Hello everybody and welcome to the second round game between Superbase5221 and Mr. Page404, both of them with numbers in their name. Just <laughs> Get off awkward. my fucking page, bro. Thanks for that, Elf. Um, <laughs> this is midnight in the UK time, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass. But with me in the commentary box is the man, the myth, the legend, Skuro Metzo. Hello. Yeah, it might be midnight for you, but it's only dinner time for me. <laughs> and on the menu is... Bretonians versus Necromancy. I said that weird. It's super base. It's Mr. Page 404. And uh, it looks like the Burts are on offense here. Mr. Page is going to get his LOS blocks in. Starting it off with a big push. And folks, this one we have been waiting for all last eight minutes of us finding out this game was happening. <laughs> And it, the the tension has been boiling over for minutes. <laughs> Literally minutes. I'm so excited right now. <laughs> Fuck oh, off, Elf. Elf. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. I can't wait for that two-minute match to end. <laughs> yep. Yeah, look at that. Never lost against birds. What a badass. So, yeah, you know, obviously Superbase probably not as well versed in me as me in the bird matchup. <laughs> no, you know, it, it, it's interesting. It's interesting because obviously if you just looked at like two, if you just thought two 2k two teams, you'd back the Necro. Um, but, you know, these birds have got things going for them. They've, they've, got, they've got a stat on every blitzer. Three of them are move, which is probably the weakest stat to have. But still, they've got three move up blitzers. They've got an edge up blitzer. They've got a strength up blocker. They've got a blocker killer. Mr. Page loves his killers. He is uh, he's a well renowned uh, disparaged by some people. I don't disparage him personally, but you know he is disparaged by some as a bit of a banger, and uh, he so he does love the pom. I don't really <laughs> like pom on on blockers. Honestly, I would just want them all with guard personally and just be happy with a mighty blow tackler um, as your blitzer. You know, blitzer killer. Um, but you know he's he's gone for that. He's gone for the banger player. Um, Necro wise, we've got a strength for his minus movement, but we've got a strength for wolf, which is about the best player that can get plus strength, I think. Um, a werewolf and a dancer, of course, are your best strength up players. So he's got that. He's got a mighty, he's got two mighty blows as well, both blodge tackles. So, like, you know, really great for dealing with the blitzers, particularly. Um, he does have grab, which, which by itself, the grab on the Flesh going makes me think maybe he's a shitter, <laughs> but he's got a good he's got a good CCL overall. So you know maybe he's I don't know why he took grab, but he's taking grab on on his uh, fleshy. But there you go, um, and he's got a couple of guards as well. So you know he's strength four, edge two, edge two on the white is is a, is a little bit concerning because you know his his ghouls aren't very good. Um, so you know it, it's kind of nice to have that that extra edge three, but I mean, it's not critical, is it? Probably not going to be critical that he's edge two. Um, but yeah, lots of guard, lots of guards. It's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, it should be. Uh, interesting also that uh, that blocker on the left there just took off without the rest of his team. Yeah. Not sure what he's, not sure what he's doing there. Uh, and then, of course, we had the classic uh, blitz in the stand firm and yep. uh, paid off. Got him down. Didn't break armor, though. Also, yeah. didn't hit with his uh, mighty blow guy. Oh no, he hit on the line, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, yeah. Blit blitzing uh, stand firm, relying on Dauntless to get the two D and blitzing stand firm. Yeah. yeah, little little questionable. Let's see though. This is where we find out a lot about Super Base because neither of us know much about him. Oh, not even gonna do it. We'll see how he blitzes with his wolves. A necro coach, t tried and true, should be frenzy trapping himself and dodging away <laughs> with reckless abandon. But here you go. Injury on the killer. Instant Apple's going to come in on the badly hurt. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Jim, were there any inducements coming into this game that you saw? Um, no. no. Oh, babe? Is that a babe? No. No, no, no inducements. Oh, just an even uh, 2K yeah. TV thing. And uh, what's Mr. Page's uh, bench look like for us? I don't think we've gotten a look at that yet. Uh, he has three. Well, he had two men on the bench. Yeah, two. Yep. And four on the bench for the Necro. Um, a dirty player kicker on the bench for him. Yeah. Yeah, and just dirty player. A dirty on player the on that side, yeah. yeah. Um, hello, Dima. The, the unique rules. That, so how this works is, um, yeah, there's no unique rules. But, how well, mm, 
No, not really. It's it's a straight knockout. What happens is there's over seven weeks of over the CCL, um, a very arcane and ludicrous system. Also, just the personal desires and whims of the admins decides the 64 teams to go through this. Um, and then it's a straight knockout once it goes on. And uh, yeah, you, you, you have to use the team that you qualified with. And there are like, you know, death stick and everything. So there you go. I think, I think Mr. Page's plan was to run this guy out and hopefully he gets blitzed by the wolf. I think that's why he did this, right? Yeah. And... Uh, Super Base did not take that bait. He just smashed the shit out of a out of a blitzer and cast him. Yep, <laughs> hit the most important guy to hit right now and uh, paid off. Got him off for the uh, for the offense at least. Banged the right guy, didn't he? Oh baby, sure did. Speaking of banging guys, Elt meme coming in a little bit. I guess he wants to coming uh, in hot. Yeah, coming coming in. Well, coming in flaccid is probably what we're looking at. <laughs> For uh, this right. WrestleMania weekend that we are halfway through the weekend towards, how you doing? I, I am, I am, just like uh, just outside of that for a second. I am super heal at the moment. It's fucked. Like I'm enemies with everybody, and I'm going to fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, as the person it's who recorded the game, <laughs> the match, I, I have a face. feeling. I have a feeling your confidence is a little misplaced. Wow. Excellent. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Peppered Biscuit, coming in with the three, four, five, six bits. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh my God! This is fucking sugar daddy down there, Peppered Biscuit. <laughs> Unbelievable! Thank you very, very much, Peppered Biscuit. Absolutely glorious. That is pretty impressive, but it would be more impressive if if you, if you did it as pie. So it was three, one, four, one, five, nine. <laughs> And so, then you might you know. see a living rage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so call us call us when you get his uh, cheers up to pie. Pie numbers, Pepper. <laughs> You're welcome, Jim. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Gorilla. <laughs> but no, no thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Pepper Biscuit. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Newest best friend of the stream. <laughs> A couple months. Zero percent. Yep, zero percent. Zero percent. We just do it. I have plenty of doors on my house as is. I do it for the love of the game. Oh, what a hero, Skuroids. I don't love this game. <laughs> I mean, I do. I mean, I mean, I do. We all do. As yeah. much as we hate it, we all love this game. Yeah, exactly. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, what the fuck is wrong with us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? It's just love here. That's the problem. <laughs> Working on Pi. I can only remember the first bit. <laughs> yeah, it's off to a good start. I, I, gave you, I gave you seven digits of it, I think, or six digits, whatever. Thank you very much, Rambo. 314159. And then I think it's seven after that. It might be one five, seven. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I, I don't, don't know. know. I only I only know three one four nine. No, three one four. One five nine. Oh three. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Flip me, guys. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we'll maybe we'll accept you then, Pepper. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Shedvik I think you. I think Jimmy has to legally marry you at a million. <laughs> yeah, I think that. Because he's be definitely, fair. or at least, at least you get to write him as a dependent. <laughs> it's one of the two on your taxes. <laughs> oh dear me. But, yeah. yeah, he's been playing Blood Bowl for a couple hours now, Flicky. I saw that. Yeah. Oh, is he streaming? Is he? Streaming it, yeah, yeah. Got his laptop back, stole my emote, you know, fucking get on it. Killer, killer banged out. Does he dodge away afterwards? Or does he get... Well, Biscuit is the will. What does he bring in? Oh, bring this is in. it. This is the classic Necro. No, he stays. Stays put, he but he's got made, guard to put right next to him. That's pretty safe. Yeah, he's strength four as well, isn't he? Yeah. This fucking blocker just lost running around the backfield. What's going on? Man? <laughs> That's really weird. <laughs> I, w joke's going to be on us when he turn eight scores off of that guy. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
seems like he would be better suited helping his slightly underguarded team out. Yeah. At all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this what this is. But hey. Yeah, he's he's attracted the attention of the werewolves, so he's he's done something. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And you know, uh Mr. Page might be able to do some chain pushes here and stuff to to get a hit on the uh wolf after all, actually. So this is gonna be interesting. We shall see. Biscuit gets to be the team name. Every time. <laughs> yeah. Biscuit does get to be the ultimate mega fag oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> This just in, the main event of WrestleMania, uh, <laughs> Extra Arms Bot versus Rick Reckless has been made a triple threat. <laughs> oh, yes, Martin, made it a one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> three, one, four, one, five, nine. Okay, I was right there, and then it goes to two. Okay, that was good. Yeah, that was good. I got yeah, six digits, not bad. Yeah. Yeah, I do remember one four one five nine actually. I yeah. don't remember the two six five. Long long time ago since I did it. Yeah. Shit about Why 14, 14, 15, 9. I don't know, it's just a thing to impress chicks. <laughs> <laughs> chicks with dicks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Skuro can count. Take what I can get. I don't even count. It's just memory. It's just memory, isn't it? I, I it's better uh, than memorizing. If your you hadn't interrupted well me, El, but I was gonna say, Skuro can count on one penis the amount of women it's, <laughs> it's impressed. <laughs> it's like it's like learning how to do a Rubik's cube, right? I figured out how to. I taught myself how to do a Rubik's cube in under five minutes, and I was like, sweet! I can't wait to impress girls with this. <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta tell you, <laughs> it's not as impressive to them as you would think it would be. <laughs> I, I would think, think it would it be is. not impressive at all to them. Yeah. <laughs> Why? That's pretty fucking bold. I, I mean, for, as, as a, it's like getting jacked, man. Like, you do that for other men, you don't do that for women. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> you do it to flex on other guys. Yeah, it's I, true. I, 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 I don't know how many guys you're jacking off over there, El, but... <laughs> No, it's true though, isn't it? It's true. Yeah, if you ask women, they all like like Brad Pitt and Fight Club, yeah. don't they? They don't like they don't like Arnie yeah. or anything. Yeah, but even then, they don't. They don't. It's quite intimidating for most normal women. And it's also when you spend that much attention. Deer Hunter on your thing, has it figured puts, out uh, my one line. <laughs> when you put that much attention on your body, it makes them feel like shit. Yeah. Unless they're Jack, too, in which case they're your, probably your boyfriend. <laughs> I was uh, I was working at a, rob a robotics lab with a bunch of MIT engineers, and I and they all were like, "None of us have ever done a Rubik's cube. Let's see who can solve it first. <laughs> and it was me, the film student. Glorious. Yep. Have you seen these these uh, these people? Or they do them like blindfolded in like three seconds. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Like I felt like I was fucking flying, being able to do it in under five minutes. Like that took a lot. Like, it, like you have to move to do it in under five minutes. The people that can do it blindfolded in like eight seconds, I, I don't understand. <laughs> yeah, it's like fucking completely bonkers. It is a useless skill. Yeah, it's and it not, doesn't even I mean, translate to giving them fingers very well, does it? Because it's a different movement entirely. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> you well, clearly have never plan. done the egg beater maneuver to your girlfriend. <laughs> Explain the egg beater maneuver. No. <laughs> so I'm picturing a churner. You know what I mean? I've done, you know, pretty much most things you can do. Done your shuffle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sound effects. So this fucking egg beater. What's that like? You? <laughs> I don't get it. I, don't know. I made it up on the spot. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh, we we almost made it four turns into this game before losing <laughs> losing complete focus. All it took was Elf joining commentary. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh my god.
<laughs> it's a bang on banger match, you know? With two <laughs> bangerless teams, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see a lot of attempted bangs, but nothing really popping. Yeah, they're they're about as they're about as banger as I was in high school. Like, let's be honest. Here. <laughs> oh man. Come when on. did you start slaying? <laughs> were you were you coming to into your twenties or? <laughs> here, here. Oh, the, the, the wolf goes here, doesn't he? The wolf goes here because then he make, he makes a screen. And it's just glorious. Yeah, I, I, I feel like Mr. Page is purposely splitting his team off, and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Just keep sending more guys up and to the left when the ball has got two sad guys trying to defend it right now, and it's kind of working out, but it's gonna cause him problems if he, you know, if he turns over on bad dice, he's just fucked. Yeah. And uh, we'll have none of that here, Pepper Biscuit. Um, the only Pepper Biscuits are fantastic, amazing Pepper Biscuits. Definitely not dumbasses. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, if you're his accountant, you might have a different opinion. <laughs> but no help. As the benefactor of such uh, <laughs> generosity. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh, dear me. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what Mr. Page is gonna do here. This is looking real bad for him, isn't he? He's getting banged out pretty hard. He's he's down to nine men. He's he's kind of down to seven because yeah. he's run up two people who know where it's like he's got six well, people. Well that that, that dirty player peasant isn't doing anything for yeah. him either. He's got three people split off and he's got six people around to, to protect yeah. the ball a little bit. The peasant has to dodge away. This he... is the thing. This is why I like putting the wolf there, because the peasant Dodging gives him something, you know? Yeah. Uh, this is the turn. I think he's slowly coming to that realization right now. <laughs> and it might, I mean, he, he's got the speed. He could he could double back and relink, but I, there, you can't even really relink anything because there's just a line of Necro yeah. blocking off three players. Yeah. Scale model silicon anatomically correct Sharon Stone, which only three. She rounds. laser scanned. <laughs> and the turn for fuck's sake. The thing is, if that was and true, the fucking Jim, turn, man. Even if that was true, you wouldn't be streaming. Um, it would be it would be mid when she was like sixty, so it'd be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I don't think I like where this is going. I think it was the only thing he could do, which is dodging this dodging this Arch 2 guy. Like, that's what I mean. That's why I really like putting the wolf um, there to stop him doing it. Oh, what is happening here? Sign I guess line. he's going to rely on the 1 and 9 on the back end. Why is with this? The other, with the other blitzer. Yeah, the other mm. blitzer can dodge out on a 1 and 9. Oh, he's going to blitz oh, out. Blitz, yeah, that's yeah. Absolute chat yeah, getting it done. <laughs> yep. You guys didn't see that coming, did you? Oh no, he's plus move. Yep, so no GFI required. You can get there easily. What a fucking gamer. Not just your a garden variety banger. <laughs> Kid's got some moves. <laughs> Look, there you go. Um... No, he's got to do more than this because he can get blitzed right now on the ball. Well, that'll, see, that'll so. do it. If if you were if you were gonna spend thousands of dollars on a sex robot, I would rather get a prime Sharon Stone than a sixty year old Sharon Stone. Sorry. Well what do you mean prime? I don't know, twenty odd. What why have she been single for like twenty odd years? Basic instinct. <laughs> yeah, basic instinct. Whoa. I don't know, this is a lot of uh, objectification of females on the stream and you don't see this on my stream. <laughs> no one sees your stream. <laughs> That is true. Sorry. I, I Sorry, you know what, Elf, I, I gotta give you that. credit. Yeah. I gotta give you credit, Elf. I was the guy, I was your target audience for your <laughs> why haven't you turned these notifications off yet? Because I kept forgetting to do it and I kept waking up every morning to help me miss streaming Blood Bowl. Like, <laughs> yeah, do I, 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 I don't want people to have them on. I, I turn them all <laughs> off myself. <laughs> 
Because it's it seems like such a fucking imposition. It feels really rude to be fucking going into people's yeah. inboxes. Oh, so it really is. Taylor. Why haven't you turned? Because I can't turn it off on my end. Sorry, Tim and Taylor, I didn't oh. see that. Um, yeah, I, I. To be fair, I've mentioned it a few times already, um, previous to now. But yeah, I, I don't like, I don't like a, a, a pom yeah, blocker killer. I, I like just giving them guard, and, uh, and then you know, using them quite, um, quite kind of throwaway players essentially, like you know, just guard and the finish. You Not know, like how you have a wrestle witch elf, and then the witch elf is finished. I like just going guard on the blockers and then they're finished and then you can just use them to be guard men and not have to look after them I, and only look after your four blitzers. I quite like what Mr. Page has done with a little taste of home. <laughs> it is a little taste of home, yeah. You can't be questioning that. No, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's starting terrible. to smell a little classy in here. Purple chest, how you doing? No, I'm be, but thank you. A little bit late night for me, obviously, but uh, happy to be here. Looking forward to this one. Glorious, hello PC. You're the guy who is looking forward to this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm not in this big gang that thinks Mr. Page is, you know, whatever people think. But I mean, I quite like the chap. I think he's quite a good streamer. He's entertaining, and I, I think lately particularly, he's upped his game. He's streaming more in European times, taking on tougher opponents, and trying things outside of his claw comfort zone. So, I think he's going to lose. But good luck to him. Yeah, no, all the best. Like, I'm sure he's a lovely guy. Yeah. I've never actually spoke, like, never actually spoken to him, but I will shut him for being classed a banger by the community. Like, the community shits on me for being classed toxic when I'm anything but. Yeah, there you go. So, no, I've, I've got nothing against Mr. Pig whatsoever. I also, Jimmy, I have nothing against Mr. Andrew Davo. Now we're friends. Really? Yep. Wow. 100 bits sorted out. We're good. <laughs> good for you. Is that what he gave you? He did, yeah. Very nice of it. <laughs> well, I Andy didn't, I, I didn't actually have much. <laughs> I didn't have much against Mr. Page until this offensive drive of his. Oh, he did, didn't he? Huge uh, raid. I have not been a huge fan of it. No, yeah, yeah, he hasn't. He hasn't set the world on fire with this drive, has he? Um, super no, base, I think, no. could have been more. Oh, yeah, aggressive. it's Elps. It's Elps. It's Elf's friendship, pre Peppered Biscuit. That, that's mean. That's meaningless it's yeah, and valueless. Basically. Essentially, yeah, that's like, God. I mean, I'd heard a lot about Elp before he returned, and yeah, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> what did you hear about me? I, I, you know, I shall take that to the grave, but I don't, I don't judge a book by other people's reviews. I tend to read it myself. Yeah. Good man. He's got a wrestler corner, he just doesn't have a picture of his wrestler. <laughs> Jimmy's friendship must be half no that price, No one wants to right. look at that abomination. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rick. Glorious. Just, just put that, uh, just put that, uh, that streamable, uh, video in. That'll, <laughs> that'll give you a good sense of what you'd have to deal with, with help. Oh, I want the... Yeah, fuck you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fucking, just the, the audacity, the audacity of Jimmy to sit and facilitate this when we're propping up the JFW. For you propping up the JFW? Yeah, people only watch for my, my bits. I can, there's at least one viewer that only watches for the fights that I'm in. Man, I, I really want to smoke whatever you are fucking smoking right now, Elf. <laughs> Oh, don't Good screw! Lord. I ran out three days ago. <laughs> oh, baby, I have the most ridiculous backlog right now, PC, because I got my own harvest still, oh, and don't. my friends all don't. harvested and gave me a bunch. Don't. Probably, probably like a half pound of weed in my house right now. God, if only we could destroy the Daily Mail, we might have sensible laws here. Well, that oh, was wow. He didn't have sides. Okay, still. he's trying to surf the. Wolf, rather yeah, than he didn't have do what a Chad. Okay, well, he's got well, a side that was there. actually pretty bold. That's Where's yeah. Putting this ball yeah. afterwards, though. It's nice and creative, but in many ways terrible. Yeah. The you wolf don't. Not yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> That's an incredible play. I like that a lot. You I mean, would. It's, yeah, but we're... it's certainly ballsy. But I mean, the the two side steps, I think, make it sort of safe, but. 
There's some risk there, isn't there? Nice. I mean, there's a lot I mean, of risk, he can, yeah. He can just punch him. Punch yeah, he's going to get the ball hit next turn. Yeah. I don't know how he protects <laughs> this now. Oh, it's sort itself out, though, I'm not like. sure protecting it's his plan. He might even get surfed because yeah. of... No, maybe not. Cause of, well, yeah, because of Frenzy. No, he it's, it's theory get entirely through. possible. I like that. Like, I genuinely like this. This isn't your garden variety fucking two good coaches playing each other. This, you're seeing some risky shit here, and it's fucking great. It's good fun. Good viewing. <laughs> I mean, hey... Uh, I, 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 people of limited abilities, help. Well, uh, you know, differently abled. Because, I mean, you've got several VODs now. You could just sit and watch. That's... What, my oh, fuck oh, off, oh, you lucky that's bastard. how you fix it. Yeah, that's how you fix it, yeah. Simple. Fucking easy, isn't it? Just do an uphill rubber break. Shock that wasn't a removal. Wow, <laughs> yeah, actually, now all of a sudden it's looking alright. <laughs> Looks fine. Jesus Christ. He's got no tackle to come at him. He's, you know, I good wish position now. I wish I could play like this. You can, Jim. You just maybe not with the same results. <laughs> Are you yes, piled up? In fairness, Jim, part of the reason. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, the banger is strong. Wow. <laughs> He's definitely getting hit. Why? What? In what world is that? Absolute fucking banger, I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> I take back everything negative I've ever implied about Mr. Page. He's one of my new favorite Blood Bowl players. He fucking piled I kind of feel I need to maybe change Holy shit. what I said. Wow, credit oh, to Super Base. Now. Super Base yeah, just found a way to get 2D on the ball here, guys. Yeah, yeah that's oh, the classic oh, cool. that's <laughs> oh dear. Well... You don't get what you deserve in Blood Bowl, you get what you rest from the dice, and that's some dice resting right there. Oh man. Amazing. Beautiful Absolutely player. amazing. North America's finest Blood Bowl coach stepping up. This might be the most exciting Blood Bowl game you've come you've 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 covered yet, Jim. That was incredible. Oh, no one expected stuff. that, did they? Nobody expected Absolutely that. Absolutely amazing. No. He's double goal again! <laughs> <laughs> I've never moved him! <laughs> oh my god. Apologies to our YouTube community for trying to make any sort of coherence out of the commentary for the next hour and a half. Um, well. Okay, let's provide some insights. Um, don't do that. <laughs> any of that. Don't double skull twice in a turn. Yep. No, don't do that. I was more implying the other coaches' decisions, but, you know, don't double skull twice in a turn is also good advice, correct? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, this is wow. right. Does he surf the other wolf now? That's yeah, the why not? I think he in might. For yeah. penny, in for ten pound, I mean... <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, no, this, is good. this is good blood ball. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it is. It really is. It's like a, you know, J5's banging on all the time, but it's a beer and pretzels game. Do you know what I mean? People take it so fucking seriously. This is great. And I'm sure he's taking it seriously. He's sweating it hard. <laughs> but it's it's great to watch. It sure is. Uh, he's got two squirrel. Yeah, one of those yeah, guys you, was out Yeah. If you ain't piling on, it's bloat. So you need to be get fucking, you need to get piling on. Oh, man. I know there's like a, a recent sort of infiltration of anti-piling on from the fumble crowd, but that's a crock of shit, really. They also brought Dakar over into this lovely, into the lovely BB2 community. Oh, man, I can't believe he piled on. So, um, yeah, he, he's not loving what the other coach is doing either. Yeah. It's the nice thing about Mr. Pages, he always critiques the opponent as well as... Uh, <laughs> Does he really? <laughs> Quite often, yes. Oh my God, that's, that's a thing. Oh, ah, oh, that's I've I've spoke about my biggest fucking one of my biggest bugbears in Blood Bowl is when the opponent's dicing you and they think they're being diced. Okay, to the panel, um, Mr. Page, I'm, I'm on his stream. He's considering wolf murder or running away with the ball and maybe looking to score at some point. Wolf murder. Which do you think he's gone for? Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah my banger. <laughs> Silly question. 
Play the fucking turn. I, I wasn't listening to the question. I've been in a Facebook argument for the last four hours with people who are like, there was an intellectual debate <laughs> at a. Oh, beautiful! <laughs> Look at that. That's Mr. Page. That's <laughs> Mr. Fucking Page. Beautiful. I'll go for Wolf and that... just murder him. He's Completely in a dominant position. On Wolf story. dead. <laughs> dead. 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 <laughs> just for anyone that hasn't been on Mr. Page's stream, just to make you feel at home. Oh, yeah. how, how can you do that? <laughs> Wow, if there weren't so much emojis and stuff on the screen, I'd watch this guy. This is fucking great. Well said. <laughs> I love how he just decided to kill the wolf and then did it. Like, what the fuck? How can you do that? Yeah, it's that Amazing. law of uh, positive attraction or whatever it is, isn't it? Law of attraction, put out what you want to get out, some shit like that. <laughs> I don't know how it works, but, you know. Send good vibes, get good vibes. Send wishes of death, get death. <laughs> I like... I like to think that this entire offensive drive happened because of that one errant blocker who ran downfield yeah, on turn one. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's earned him a fair amount of bits. His channel is throwing the dead, dead, dead emote um, with gay abandon. Yep. Hey, you, you know what? Fun. You can say you can say a lot of criticisms about Mr. Page's coaching in his blood bowl, but like. He runs his stream the way he wants to run his stream, and it's very successful for him. Yeah, so really entertaining. And my son loves it with all the Mario-like effects. He, he thinks it's cool. Oh, oh yeah, it's son. really stupid, Eleven. Spenny. <laughs> someone Eleven. implied, yeah. someone okay. was implying that there were no bees in Middle Earth in Tolkien's writing. And I was like, that's bullshit, because in Chapter 7 of The Hobbit, they mentioned Bjorn's bee fields quite prominently several times in the chapter and just people were doubling down and I'm like quoting the chapter. I'm like, what is wrong Screw with it? This people? seems very much like uh, solving a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Squirrel <laughs> waiting for the dream date where he gets to talk is, about is it that, is respect. It, is, it that, is it that I'm a member of high society and we discuss <laughs> literature? <laughs> No, it's that you're arguing with people on the internet and expecting to somehow gain something. Well, they're my friend. They're friends of mine. These are real people. <laughs> real people? <laughs> real people. What? Yeah, hello, guys. Yeah, it's so it's chapter not 7, real. I think you'll find, of the abridged version. <laughs> they're real people, not like Elf. <laughs> yeah, they drink mead and, like, the twice-break bread that he serves the dwarves has honey in it. They say that. Like, it's just not even an argument. Like, there's no argument to be made. It's just lunacy. <laughs> Maybe they are just not as good as this airfield. <laughs> just not. It's not really that important to the thing to win as an argument, though, is it? I mean, you got to no, take your victories where you can, no. you know? I mean, you know, I, I'm not really one to criticize. I did once end up in a fist fight over how many actors there were in the Trestle Theatre Company. Um, so. <laughs> you guys are losers, aren't you? I was right, there were three. He insisted there were four. <laughs> because they use masks, it is quite hard to tell. I'm really disappointed that not everyone immediately sided with me on this and backed me up. I knew you were right, I just genuinely couldn't give a shit. That's the... <laughs> wow, you sounded like my dad there. <laughs> About everything. Well, he just... <laughs> I was going to say, Skuro, that's... There's some therapy there for you, then, isn't there? <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> He's just oh, no, you don't! Yeah, Mr. Page, <laughs> just <laughs> kill a will. What am I talking about? Excellent. Oh and, my uh, god. <laughs> when will you people one, learn? Do not bet against Mr. Page. <laughs> one nice wolf surfed, one nice wolf killed, and in, a very in decent In fairness, dollar. this is round two, right? Yeah. Yeah, That's see, only he only hurt. loses round one matches, usually, so <laughs> this is uncharted territory. That's a badly hurt, so the Golem will be back next game, but uh, it, it, it really unlikely to be a next game for these Necros. <laughs> yeah, this is brutal. And uh, instead of the three in the morning finish we thought, we should be done in about 20 minutes, I'd have thought. <laughs> yeah, you would, you would hope so, yeah. I mean, there's a big long bench for the Necros, but it's full of crap, isn't it? It's... Yeah. 
help memes got more ability at Blood Bowl than those four players behind the wall. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Mr. Page, he is he really is a Blood Bowl god, isn't he? He is, and he's, he's, he's banking some proper cash for these kills. This be, reminds me, this stream's very and I don't really know why, because I don't remember anything about the team or the game, but wasn't it like Woohoo Boy in like the third or fourth CCL who kind of played like this, and he, and it just took him to a championship win with yeah. like Necro or something yeah, like that? Necro, wasn't yeah. that? Wasn't that his play style? Mm -hmm. Just kill yeah. things that you fancy killing. And not really well, he worry just kind of just did all the things that, like, you look at and be like, I could do this, but I shouldn't. And then he would, and it would always work out. <laughs> yeah. Well, then that's he was doing the right things. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. Can't, can't argue it. Yeah. That's why I always say I'm still learning Blood Bowl. There's games like this, you just think, yeah, I'm doing this all wrong. <laughs> Oh man, if that had been a dirty player, it would have been a class. Chunter, how would you how would you list Burt Gods <laughs> and not list Ducky, who won the first two CCLs with them? <laughs> yeah, and I'm not I'm not a Burt King at all. It's my sample size is too small, isn't it? He's the Burt Whisperer. There's a difference. Yeah, yeah, Burt Whisperer. <laughs> Strategy is for losers who can't roll six. He's got to go for a bang here. He can't just run it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's just the zombie on the side. It's gonna be the zombie on oh, the side. Oh, he heard you, Elf! <laughs> Absolute fucking Chad. Not even a 3D. <laughs> Fuck a 3D, you just get a pal. And he's gonna yeah. pile. He's got a pile. Always pile. Oh, he's pile. pile on a Yeah, there's, there's no way he doesn't pile here. Some would tell you it's the wrong decision, but. <laughs> When he bangs, he bangs. Oh, baby, when he removes, he removes. Drives me crazy. <laughs> I have a hard time not picking other blocks is the real thing here. That's yeah, amazing. that's uh, I'm off to a flame. Um, he's going to struggle here, but one last bang for good measure. <laughs> Maybe two. He'll rely, he'll rely on Dauntless to make it a 2D. <laughs> that would be amazing. If he, he does might. This. Does he still oh have a reroll? Because he might do the dodge to go for another bang. No, no, he'll just do the 1D, but if he gets... No, he's not doing that. No, it's good score. It's good score. Whew. Well, oh, boy. what a half. Oh, boy. <laughs> half that in many ways... Perfect 8 turn star. Felt like a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rick. That was brilliant. That is Rick. That is... Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I was almost tempted to sing it, but no one needs that at this time of night. No. I don't know the uh, song by the word. So oh, if you hit me with the tune. Help you asshole. Hit me with the tune. Ricky Martin. Antonio Banderas? No. Ricky Martin. That's Ricky, the one. Ricky Martin. Beloved. Mr. La Vida Loca himself. Yeah, a song beloved by serial killers everywhere. <laughs> And strange. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but I was amazed when he came out as gay. I, I know, it came spot. totally out of left field, didn't it? Well, what uh, What was his name? Ricky Grey Martin. Guy. No, 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 not him, not him. Grey Head Guy. Job? He does the... No, 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 Fred? no. British, British presenter, British presenter. Bill. Nope. <laughs> Graham Norton. No, not Graham Norton, no, that's... Dale. No, 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 no. Philip Schofield. Yeah, Michael oh, Barry. I fucking never, ever, 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 ever would have pegged him. What about? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you? Because well, it turns out he'd let you. We are, we are on a cliff's edge right now. <laughs> <laughs> what about Andy Peters? Has he ever come out or not? Yes, he's always been openly gay. Has he? Yeah. Okay. Married to a man and everything. No, I, d I didn't know, but like, I mean, I knew he was, but I didn't know if, if, he'd, uh, if, if it was official or not. Yeah, yeah, he's openly gay. Well, you you, you mentioned Jimmy. Said, it's not gay if you bang kids, is it? Oh fuck off! You don't get Obviously, you know limits, boundaries. I told you we were on the edge of a cliff, folks, and we just jumped off. Yeah, but well, we we done the boiling It's the chat. It's the chat. It's my man Ross. Thirty feet off the cliff.
He was prodigal, yes. But then that's true of Schofield and Andy Peters, wasn't it? They were both in the closet at the start of their careers, but it was the CBBC broom closet. Oh, did you see what I did there? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, boy. But I think even then, Andy Peters was openly gay. Yeah. Oh, dear. Don't, don't, for Gnomic, don't mention it. Let's just move on. Yeah, let's just all just move on. Yep. <laughs> Again, Moving right along. Done here. Stop's getting done here. So, uh, would anyone like me to read next, sir, from Chapter 7 of The Hobbit? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> no, Skuro. We really? believe you. <laughs> Keep your bees to yourself. <laughs> that, that well known for its trees, orcs, and bees book. <laughs> did they, did they do, they, how much of The Hobbit book did they put into the film? Because they left out the uh, they, they put about 425% oh, help. They left out oh, the amazing. bees, didn't they? Imagine, imagine if... Well, they made, <laughs> they made an entire movie out of one chapter. Half of a chapter, I should say. I mean, help, you could read the whole... Sorry. You could have it read to you in one afternoon, The Hobbit. It's a short book. Yeah, I've read it. I've read The Hobbit a few times. I've read The I've Hobbit I've also read Lord well. of the Wings. So I'm just, I haven't seen all of the films. Because they made it into a the free film... piece, didn't they? I think I think those films get a slightly bad rap, but but they were completely unnecessary. They didn't look very good because they were just very CGI, not yep. well done. Well, they were and, also using uh, the and they were just yeah, they were just palette. gluttonous. They were just completely gluttonous movies. Yeah, yeah I mean the first no one after about an hour and a half, I thought if any more dwarves arrive, I'm leaving, and I like dwarves. <laughs> did we need a 15 minute scene for every single dwarf turning yeah. up? I do agree that The Hobbit probably shouldn't have been a single film, even though it's yep. a single book. But two films, which is what, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Oh, fuck, what's that director's name? Guillermo del Toro, because he was originally going to make the movie. And he started the movie, and he wanted to make it two movies. And then they tried to force him to make it three, so he quit. And then Peter Jackson came in and was like, all right, fuck it, I'll just do this. I didn't want to, but I'll do it. And uh, the result is the trilogy that they gave us. Mm. Didn't Which had some reasonable moments. Hmm? Uh, did he? He might have. He might have. Yeah. yeah. Best known for like Pan's Labyrinth. Like, One of the that's great, like his, great his style of movie. Fan. Yeah, fan, fantastic. No? Just to talk also to, big just talk of the about original Hellboy for a second, guys. Just just for a second, saying why didn't he go for the one turn? He's only got he's only got a um, move seven. And that's three, um, so you know there's kind of no and, point going for one turn. And three minutes. And he, he is a rebel. And he can't use frenzy because the the fen. So there you go. Sorry, you can you can talk about Lord of the Rings and whatever. <laughs> uh, I think we're I think we've talked enough. Of <laughs> no, he isn't Lehman Russ. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. <laughs> yeah, they just they just they just added the stuff in to, to pad the movie out, out kill. Absolutely. Thank you, Pepper Biscuit. I think you were the only one that spotted that. <sighs> yes, when Legolas turned up in The Hobbit, I was genuinely quite cross. You know, I didn't mind that because, in theory, he does belong where he was, but then he didn't need to do anything beyond just being, like, an Easter egg cameo. Yeah. Because he yeah. should have been in Thranduil's halls. He lived there. That's his dad. Yeah, I could have lived with but, the cameo. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Didn't then need to take over the third movie with <laughs> action scenes. Just, just no excuse to give Orlando Bloom that much work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Backyard Dodo, and it's fine, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's. I think it, I would do the same. You'd do the same. Let, no, I wouldn't. But that's that. <laughs> that's me. Um, I I don't. I, again, like I said, I don't have that big a problem. I I own the movies. I enjoy them. But yeah. boy, howdy! Oh, wow, that was the most American thing I've ever seen. Really boy, was, howdy! <laughs> boy, I, howdy. We don't even say that high. here. We don't Yeehaw. even say howdy fucking up here. That's fucking weird. <laughs> Anyway, howdy, duty. Uh, yikes, boy, howdy! If you ever try and do, because like I frequently will like marathon all of the Lord of the Rings. Uh, if you ever try and do that and the Hobbit, it just makes the Hobbit that much more untenable because it's seven hours of preventing you from watching Lord of the Rings, and it's just not as good. Boy, howdy! I mean, 
a good editor should have been able to get that down to four, four and a half, and still talk. Absolutely, well. absolutely. Should have been able to get it down to an hour and a half. Let's be honest. It right could now. have been done that way, Jim, but I mean, there was room to expand Rivertown and the whole desolation of Smog. You know, that that stuff wasn't awful, but the eighteen-hour battle at the end I, was a little overdone. <laughs> yeah. and the thirty-eight minutes. This is so uninspired, to too. It was just start was just dull. Yeah. Oh, I, I I assume someone eventually assembled a Tolkien cup, but no, I I haven't looked into that or seen that. I actually thought about doing that myself once, uh, but then I started another insane Lord of the Rings based project. <laughs> but then you thought, boy howdy, I ain't got time. For Why that. don't I just refilm Lord of the Rings with wrestlers? That's a much better idea. <laughs> and bound to be a career highlight. Yeah. Why is he set up this side? Wouldn't it be better to to blitz the uh, blitz uh, the peasant there, the, the the defenseless peasant, the Tama Seven? Yes. Yeah. That can't sidestep you into trouble. I mean, uh, you know, despite having banged out both that nice wolf and the uh, the better golem, they're not entirely out of this. Go towards his team. They? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, they've got they've got men. Like that's the thing. They have, you know. Yeah, they, they've got the numbers. Bench. They've got men. Um, and I suppose I mean, I mean could, maybe you know, he was trying to chip a knight and get um, or blitzer as you call them here and get back on. You know, try and swing that momentum, get some equity gains. Yeah, I mean this could easily swing back into an overtime one-one game. Uh, you know, if 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 uh, Superbase can stabilize his his team from being a leaking sieve of injuries, and uh, maybe maybe remove a few AV7 peasants. Yeah, I think I think it was much better blitz to uh, to hit the defenseless guy, get that seventy five percent knockdown. Might be. Yeah, I mean I understood it because if you can take one of the blitz blitzers out, it is a really big swing in the momentum. But I mean I'm with Agreed. you, Jim. I think you take the AV7s out first. And then that gives you, you know, the ability to just monster those knights. Yeah. Well, like your wolf can take out the knights if he gets a good chance, can't he? Because he's got strength four, so he's not, he's not getting led into, uh, you know, nope. uphills easily. Yeah, mighty blow and tackle and claw. It's, you know, it's a nice piece to do that with. So yeah, I'd have tried to do the same: thin the peasants first, and then go after the others. Yeah, you can let that go. Why not blitz with a wolf? Because Chunter, if you don't power him, then then you're getting hit back, aren't you? He's he's going to sidestep you into the uh, into getting hit by this uh, this fucking asshole Palmer, isn't he? So, you, like you know, you, you're just not going to get. You're not going to be able. To, I guess you could just dodge away, but that, I'm not. I don't want to blitz and get trapped and have to dodge with my wolf. I just, I don't like that. I'd have been quite happily just hitting this guy, keeping the wolf back yeah. here, and then you know try and pick someone off when you can pick them off safely. Superbase I mean, has that's exactly the is... two players that matter now. Um, the Wolf and the Strength 4 White. Outside of that, the rest is just chaff to keep And they're alive. both in range of being banged. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've covered that pretty uh, pretty heavily earlier, Bakers. It's, it's, a little, it's a little unfavored. Yeah, but he knows it's one piece that you can just touch and he knows what he's doing with it. And uh, it killed the wolf, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it did. the palm did yeah. kill a wolf, yeah. yeah. So there we are, it must be a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do it after the pickup, you don't even get a blitz at all. Nah, I, I, nah, I don't. I don't. Nah. This is a bit questionable. Well, it is one of the two pieces that I identified if he can take them out, then I think Paige is in a great position, because it's just, it's just fluff other than that on this Necro team, isn't it? I mean, yeah, there's a lot of them, but nothing fluffers. to really worry you. He's got some fluffers. Is this a... Oh, no, it's a TV. And then these day. fast, blodgy knights can, uh, you know, can really dominate, despite him being short on numbers. But it does on. need to Oh, take... this is definitely going to be a pile-on. Yeah, that's a pile-on, as long as I've got a hole in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he should, because I think the stun is fine. But I agree. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, I like, I like the pile-on. But the KO is He's better, mate, let's be honest. honest. Yeah, he's yes, got the plus yeah, there's. Yeah, it's not like there's a dirty player within four squares of that by a lot. Exactly. No, and it's not like that you're limited on numbers, and now you can be completely outmaneuvered because you've got even less pieces on their feet. Yeah. But then that's okay because he's running all of his pieces away from where the ball wants to go. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> what I was I was mentioning earlier. It's 
Quite simple for the Necro to just go cage up on the right a few squares in, isn't it? I mean, from Mr. Page's point of view, actually, 1-1 one, one isn't the end of the world. He's got two KOs that could come back, and uh, and they're both not <laughs> awful. I mean, it's just the end of the half, player. not the end of the match. The other one's a strength four, so that's... Yeah. Perhaps he's thinking, I'll just... Uh, if I can remove either this white or wolf, then even if he scores at 1-1, one, one, I'm still good. Well, perhaps he's making content. He's having fun. He's uh, playing with his stream. <laughs> having a, having a, a, a God, a, a, a serious attempt. Crystal, you and I may feel that. Crystal, you and I may feel that you know controlling the space, scoring touchdowns, moving the ball forward is a high priority. But it's certainly not how everyone plays Blood Bowl. So Superbase is not taking that space on the right. No. Nope. To advance the ball, he, maybe he is going to foul that Palmer. He is, yeah. No, he's coming for a fight, and I think he's fouling the Palmer. Yeah, yep. he absolutely is a one assist foul. I guess he still is kind of taking that space on the right. He's just not really. He's looking. just he's just screening it off, ready to take it next turn, I suppose. But... Oh, he's doing it before the ball pickup so too. So risky, isn't it? He really wants this fouled. In. It's a stun. Just is, um, done. Not is Superbase off, also North American? He, he plays in Rel, I've heard, which would imply he could be. In Rebel, he plays in like the, uh, you know, US time zone. The US time zone. He could be something else. He's a yank. <laughs> so I'm just wondering if he was getting out, out scheduled by Page here or if it's, you know, good times for both of them. You know, it, pay, Mr. Page is interesting because he's not even on, like, a traditional North American time zone because he's so far to the east in Canada. He's actually ahead of Eastern Standard Time. Oh, is he, um, like, in the... Not yeah, he's Nova in Scotia, like, but... Like, yeah, uh, I think it's... Uh, I forget if it's Nova Scotia or Newfoundland. I think, I it's, think Newfoundland. it's Newfoundland, yeah. Yeah. He's an hour ahead of me, um, which is not something as, like like, you know... You don't even really think of it as like North American at that point because you <laughs> yeah, assume the, Easter, the yeah. East Coast Standard Time is the end of the uh, time zones in America. That's New Brunswick. Right. New Brunswick. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say New Brunswick somehow rings a bell. Yeah. Incredible. You learn something every day, don't you? That was hanging yeah. in my head, so well done, Rat Boy. Yeah? I, uh, I should have just said it. But um, yeah, it was running, oh, running no around in my head. I, don't dwell on it too much. <laughs> I just have it's an entertaining strong. way of speaking, help. You know, you should try it. Uh, probably somewhere in the UK, CSAPs. So that's, that's generally how that works. Oh, I don't think there's an old Brunswick. There probably is a Brunswick somewhere, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I grew up in a town called Bedford. Apparently, there's nine of them in America. Yeah, I live uh, one town over from a Bedford. Two towns over. Two towns over. Oh, from John Bedford. Brunswick's in Germany. Yeah, that rings a bell. Yeah. Oi, 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 oi. There's a guard at cast, but he actually makes yep. rage and outrageous. It's like uh, if you go to Nova Scotia, it's all like it's like all like Scottish descent, which you don't think about, and then you're like, oh yeah, Nova Scotia, new Scottish. Like interesting but they do all like the New highland Scottish. games up there and everything yeah he's just gonna do a one day surf what an absolute baller but i'd always expected most new yorkers to wear clogs yeah of course it was originally was new like, amsterdam yeah. Yep. Yeah. absolutely absolutely chimp I knew that. well that's not true uh, it's uh it's like Disgusting. a it's like a 70 30 split everything else is like uh Native American. We have a lot of Native American names like Cohasset and this Massachusetts. Like yeah. The cheeky one day there. Come on. Man. And my uh, one of my wife's best friends that she grew up and was educated with is half German, half American. And one of his favorite things to say is that apparently when America became an independent country after the terrorist war of insurrection, <laughs> um, Germany only lost the vote for the national language German um, by a couple of votes. And they, you nearly were speaking German, Skura. Yeah, interesting. I did not know that. The only thing I think is, boy howdy. <laughs> boy, boy howdy. Boy howdy, howdy gonna roll me some pals right here. 
there's like no German influence in New England, though. So I, I'm a little suspect of of that claim. Actually, most of the German influence is uh, out in the Midwest. Lemon Russ, more than I need. <laughs> yeah, I'm very dubious of the claim as well. <laughs> Just the one, but it, uh, she grew up in Houston, in Texas. She is American, my partner. Oh, Planet Houston. In fact, I would have believed French over English, uh, given given the love for Lafayette and whatnot. Oh, they are. Eurus Styles is backing me too. That uh, apparently his mother is either also a liar or that fact is true. <laughs> that might just mistaken. be a thing Germans tell themselves. To yes, feel that's, like that's they, it as well. <laughs> that's how we beat Britain that one time. Sort of. <laughs> it's that joke, isn't it? The um, you know, the Von old Hilda, people. Tell me the tale. <laughs> Well, it was two votes. Frank Sinatra, Sweeter Hungarian! Von <laughs> Hilde! Oh, hi, Daddy Grob! Dad, Dad, Dad! Hungarian! Dead, dead, dead! Oh, and he's going on the other team. <laughs> Getting back a little bit. What a game. Just checking. What a game we've barely been paying attention to. What a fucking game as these two are. He gives up two dice on the ball, but he, he reverses it. not chanting. Mr. Page is not chanting dead, dead, dead. Oh no, why not? I'm Weird. confused. <laughs> oh no. I mean, his chat's doing that a bit. <laughs> they would all be banned. <laughs> He's given 2D on the ball, but hey. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. <laughs> oh, I've got a new toy, a sort of dice shaped thing that bounces around on the screen, gets in the way of the thing. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm serious. I think his stream's really interesting. It's so different to everyone else's, and some people really love it. Yeah. It's so hard to have that attitude when it's your own guys, though, Bakers. Calcium does, doesn't he? Calcium is one of those schools of players where he, he just cheers deaths. <laughs> and of course, the um, sadly no longer playing Blood Bowl in any form I know, but the legend of Fumble, Paul Hicks. Yeah. Um, famously would have fouled his own players if he could have done. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he just loved to see things get fouled and die. Yeah. Hey, the, sure. You can always surf your own players if, you, if you're in a pinch. <laughs> yeah. Yes, for the... Uh, um, Carlo Pelagatti is another one, isn't he? <laughs> dead, dead, dead. Carlo would love that. Absolute legend. Uh, good old... And Good old Inspector Gadget. Good old Gadget reference. Love to see those in your Gadget get some airtime. Did, did Inspector Gadget make its way across the uh, across yeah, the yeah, world? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Inspector yeah. Gadget. I'll get yeah, you I'll next time, you. Gadget. <laughs> oh, glorious. <laughs> um, it's not Pepper Biscuit. Even if you're, even if the player that you serve has the ball, um, on Blood Bowl two, um, it should be. That's incredible. But on Blue Bowl 2, it isn't. <laughs> really? Yes, because I... That's one way to it. try and advance the ball, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's like a scorched earth policy, isn't it? You hold up in your own end zone with the ball. <laughs> Fuck it. Off the pitch you go, lad. <laughs> yeah. And it worked for him Off as well. chasing a sandwich, Yeti. If we kill this wolf... Oh, not dead, dead, dead. Live, live, live. But the blitz still to come. The banger blitz. Oh, here we go, the Jimmy Hyena. Doesn't even have anyone to bang with anymore. Young Jim here. Seagull doesn't no. have a picture uh, made. No, yeah, there's the clip. You could use the old uh, posh stream picture. The death was. Oh, I could do, yeah. A blocker. Uh, it was the. Was it the Pommer? It was, yeah. Yeah, it was the Pommer. It was the. The Pommer. pro piling on, jump up, tackle, mighty blow, wrestle, Pommer. But it was AV7, so it was always vulnerable. It was. Frankly, he's better off without it. Oh god, this is really big. <laughs> right. I actually love that. Good shot. It's pretty good, isn't it? All yeah. Right. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, good time. Good times, Mr. Bezer. Oh Dude, wait, I, I, oh wow, I got confused. I thought I was watching Mr. Page's stream for a second. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big, isn't it? All right, here we go. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> help, help gets to go on the stream. <laughs> Amazing. Feel free to put him between my hands, like I'm giving him a lovely massage. <laughs> Give me a massage if you want. There's, uh, there's a long tradition of an older man with a younger man. That's it. As long as there's a decent Greek amount of money involved. Roll sort of thing. I hear you came into some money yesterday, so. <laughs> or uh... dinner's on you, Daddy. Oh, we're going right back to that cliff edge, folks. <laughs> I'm sorry about the other cliff edge, my bad on that. Yeah, thanks, so. Yeah, that's alright. Sorry, YouTube. Oh, dear me. He's he's not he's not tall, he's not as short as that, no. But, you know. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm that does, yeah, that's, I've just seen it. That is exactly what I meant, Jim. That was funny. <laughs> Here, young man. Let's watch some Blood Bowl together. Okay. <laughs> Do you like it when a dog comes and rubs against your leg? A dog? <laughs> That's got to be alright, Jim. They did that joke in Airplane. Oh, uh, okay. I knew I'd heard it before. Like Surely you must have seen that. I have seen I have seen Airplane. I mean, I knew I'd heard it before, I just didn't know where. Well, I'll re-roll this. Come on, bang him out. Oh, uh, I was expecting after the Airplane set reference someone to follow up with. I have and don't call me Shirley. No, yes, fuck <laughs> me. I was stupid then, wasn't I? I'm sorry. That's all right. It was you know, a long shot. It's a long film. PC picked the wrong weed to quit smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorite gags in it. My favorite part is the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar bit, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that was my favorite part. I love the, uh, the autopilot bit as well. <laughs> yeah, the fucking yeah. inflatable pilot. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. And in Airplane 2, I did love the shh. To open all the doors. That was great. <laughs> I don't actually really remember Airplane 2. No, I've seen it, but I just don't really remember it. Same plot, weaker jokes, but they're going to the moon. Yeah. No. Right. Ah. Oh, and I remember the WhatsApp Vector Victor. <coughs> You've got clearance, Clarence, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. is that the time? <laughs> well, see you later, gamers. I should go to bed. Okay. Well, there might be some Blood Bowl happening <laughs> soon. Night, help. Past your bedtime. Yeah, little try to keep that shit in check, you know. Get a nice little fucking rhythm going. Don't fuck around with it too little much. Little help. He's off. <laughs> yeah, ten past one. <laughs> That'll do me. But thanks for having me. It was a, it was a good laugh. It was lovely to have you up. Good night. <laughs> See you up. No, no. Keep it warm and uh, yeah, just make sure the other side is uh, it's nice and ready. <laughs> I like that he exited by just disappearing down. Um, I don't know what, I, I mean it's anyone's guess what Mr. Page is going to do here. There's not many players left though, is there? Or, uh, no, no, it's it's getting quite um, quite critical on both sides now. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this wolf is going to get fouled, isn't he? Yes. 138%. Yeah. <coughs> and I mean, Mr. Page's tactic of not really worrying about the ball or the other team progressing and <laughs> killing stuff is going quite well this half. It really is. It's annihilated him. He's, uh, he's getting back those numbers. And remember, he's got the KOs to come back, uh, one of which is quite a decent piece, the other one of which is a, a foul. Mm -hmm. Excellent reference, Ariadne. Oh, oh, fantastic, yes. Oh, he's not going to get a foul. Oh, I guess he can foul with the, ra the Rattler. That seems a real bad foul. Or GFI as well. I guess he's not going to. I guess he's just going to run back with him. I think you are literally outlining his thought process right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. I thought he was going to go in for the foul. <laughs> <laughs> 
But that means he can just blitz with the uh, blitz with the wolf, doesn't it? Now. So. Mm, yes, yep. very much so. Needs to put another assist in, but that's. Uh, he's hitting nice. oh, no. he's, uh, and the ball. Probably should have GFI'd. But I don't really know where he's going with this ball. Course, that's going to be. God, it was a strength four wolf. But yes, of course he can. Yeah. Um, it's very difficult because he just doesn't have enough left to build much of a safe cage for anything. It's he might mm. sideline this and rely on the strength four. I don't know. He can't look because look, there's a there's a player there. It's yeah. like. Yeah. It's hideous. Yep. He's got to kind of just run back this turn. Or... Yeah, he does have plenty of time. Yeah. And at least it's on a player. large side step, isn't it? Oh That's no, I'm league. reading the skills of the player in front of it again. It's yeah, just it's on a naked league. goal. Right. He probably wants to. He probably wants to run back with a wolf. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Wolf could have run behind the fleshy. Stood up the flesh and then handed off the wolf. I think that was the. Yeah, point. I was going to say. Oh. I think at this point you probably want the ball in the wolf's hands. It's the. No, nope, we're fouling yeah, the night, this we? is this is <laughs> spooky. I think after this, <laughs> no, worked out. Does anyone think after this game, the two of them are going to end up getting a coffee and you know things could develop? <laughs> wow, just <laughs> casually basing tackle with the ball care. This is insane, isn't it? I'm, I mean, I'm just seeing kindred two. spirits here. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Three. Three. This could be the start Maybe of something truly Maybe they can combine beautiful. their teams into one mega team and dual coach it in the next round. Oh my we, could, we could have a blood bowl marriage. My God. Oh, so well, Rick, I mean, look, Rick plays the winner of this game? That's amazing. <laughs> Rick has a really good team, too, doesn't he? No. Yeah, oh, it's, it's pretty okay. good. I, I think it's pretty good. I thought I heard someone say really It good. is pretty solid, to be fair, yeah. What's he playing? He just, for my liking, did a rick and just pushed it a little bit beyond when it was ready. But it's it's solid and certainly more playing? solid than either of these oh, that are left. Rick is using chaffs. I imagine okay. what he's playing against, but I can tell you. Um, oh, he's up against the winner of this. The winner of this plays Rick. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Yeah. That's what, yeah, we had just established that. I didn't hear that, but so I was thinking you were thinking <laughs> okay. who's he playing next, like, but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's Chaffs. He's, he's got, I think he's got a pretty good Chaff team. But Rick took out Kill Bill Waltz in a cracking game of Blood Bowl, that was, actually. It was. I heard about that. I didn't see it, though. It was wild. I mean, the, the problem Rick's got is the exact opposite of Dionysian, isn't it? In that he's got a nice set of uh, Chaos Dwarf blockers, but two pretty awful wolves. Bulls. Uh, bulls. Yeah. Well, Although he's got know. some nice Hobgoblin support as well, so I mean, it is a very solid team. Yeah, I mean, it's good. He's, he's only got one bad bull, hasn't he? He's got, he's got a block guard bull, but the other bull's fine. Yeah, it's got a niggle, though. Mm. So, I mean, it's fine, but it's it's just that little bit vulnerable. Yeah. And considering the other one is only block guard, that that is a concern. Yeah. Uh, but then he's got some monstrously dangerous chaos dwarves. <laughs> Reckless of Brandon, that's amazing. <laughs> he's two players in the same pitch, the equivalent of the Predator meme with the muscular handshake. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. It's amazing. It's funny because it's true. Oh, we might be getting another relying on Dauntless Blitz here. Yep. <laughs> What's well, the matter, Mr. Page? <laughs> I mean, it's currently six Necro versus seven Bretonians. I, if we go to overtime, we could. It could be the last player standing wanders over with the ball at this rate. <laughs> that would be amazing. What's one on one blood ball in overtime. Look one this. lone zombie failing a go for it, ending up in kicks. That's, no, that's zombie, what I'm predicting currently. A zombie against currently. the peasant. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. Zombie Pig? Bro got you rolling too many pushes. <laughs> this is crazy, isn't it? He did rely on Dauntless. He rolled it. He got the pound. Yeah. At this oh, no, point, Jim, uh, I, I could say I hate it, but what would be the point? This is, it is what it is. And this is a strategy they've both committed to, so there's just almost no point turning back now. Just, <laughs> I mean, it seems to me that 
Super base is just gonna go right through that peasant. I would just surf this guy. Just surf nope. this no, guy. No, no, he's not. Yeah. Surf him. Or blitz the peasant and uh, run away and hand off to him. But... Surf. It's been surf, quite surf. small. He has put a peasant on the wolf, which means the wolf um, won't be able to use its frenzy. Has to get away from there if it's going to do anything proper dangerous, and that's a one in nine fail. Or he can just bag it out. Yeah, simple. That's much simpler, isn't it, than thinking yep. about. It's but now the game is on the one in nine dodge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it sure is. I guess you just punch him. It was going to be punching. hard. It was going to be hard to get out of that without at least one one in nine, though. He can punch him. He can, he can just move the wolf back and then punch him, right? And then yes, he can very him. hard to see how he gets safe from that, but... I mean, safe's not really been a concept they've messed with much, has it? So no, no. I mean, uh, he's not probably not safe. a concern. He's not going to get safe whatever he does, is he? <laughs> you know? he does. Well, there's, there's kind of two three pluses here. Give him a really nice little cage. If he hands off to the other ghoul, yeah, yeah, yep. and doesn't there fail it. it, and then if the One white makes dodge it, dodge, this is just an absolute classic cage. It's lovely, yeah. and he the does. GFI. Look at that. I'm not. Yep, he makes a GFI. Ooh. He's got a cage. He made a cage. Dollars to donuts Ooh. that Mr. Page serves Six that players zombie. on the pitch and five of them make a cage. Lovely. <laughs> serves the zombie, you reckon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I put a dollar on that one. <laughs> Let's see what Mr. Page is making of all of this. It's a jungle out there. I I don't know how you pie, I don't know how you don't pie, hand off to the fucking wolf though. The wolf's strength four, and he's like your number one player. Like you need to have the ball on him, don't you? To make it totally happen. agree. Oh man! Incredible! What a match! Did he seriously just say that, Yeti? <laughs> ah, he no, he's uh, he's looking at blitzing the ghoul, and yeah. he's trying to do it with mighty blow. Yeah. yeah, he said it's not worth surfing the mighty blow player. Uh, the oh, okay. zombie. His his chat wants him to surf the zombie, but he doesn't think it's worth the resources. Good. Uh, right. Instead, he's trying to make it so the guy can't cage, I think, and I think that's very sensible. It's There's a good chance of a turnover next turn. So the debate for Necro is, do you go in now and score, or do you try and find another stall? You've got and I stall think he's done enough to stop the stall. I think this is going to have to be a score turn. No, you have to stall right. one more square, don't you? You have to stall one more turn. Where, Jim? Who's got more KOs? I just potato. Who's got more kills? Uh, the, the the necros. Two for Mr. Page, three for uh, oh, Super Yeah. Base. Yeah. There's the thing is there's no tackle for the Brett, so the Blodge Potato isn't the worst thing in the world. Yeah, and you can dodge the two ghouls out at the moment. Yeah. Pretty easily. But oh. m even more important than the KOs, if they can survive to overtime, um, the necros have a bench coming back. As yeah. well as the KOs, so you know they're going to have a team again. Yeah, uh, the Bretonians you know, really might not. But like I, yeah, I can't believe you used a reroll to give it to the fucking shit player. Like if this had been the wolf with the ball, then yeah. he's already got the ball, but he's got to give it the wolf because the wolf's strength four. And <laughs> he also could have had exactly the same shape without that handoff, Jim. Yeah. Which confused me even more. Yeah, but for some reason he wanted yeah, on the blodge. Like, that's what I mean. If you're going to make the handoff, make it to the fucking wolf, right? Yeah. Otherwise... Because I mean, if it was against you or me, I could understand why he wouldn't want it on a naked ghoul in the middle of a slightly loose cage because there's blodge pieces and we would probably try the dodge in for the hit on it. Yeah. But Mr. Page won't. He'll hit something he can hit more reliably. Bang people out. Well, it's not a bad shape he's thrown there, I like it. Yeah, it's not bad at all. 
But yeah, I think that blitzing the ball free is showing that he's looking for another stall, isn't he? Somehow, yeah. some way that I don't yet understand. One D here, and then oh, two D there. Okay, yeah, that works. Oh. Not really. He's got still got a one D. So I don't like this really. A stun's very helpful. Yeah. He's relying on trying to put a sidestepper down now? That's yeah, if he puts the sidestepper down, there's a lovely stall square up top yeah. right, isn't there? But yep. it it yeah, it's a one in three, isn't it, to get a pow even with two dice on that. Yeah, this is not looking good now, he just does the one in. Now he's oh. really kind of trapped in there. Yep. Yeah, I didn't like that one, right? And also, I think he's got the block list right. If he'd had the block on there, he could have hit him. And now he's got a three plus him to move him back. Is he going to sidestep to, like, there? Well, he can still 1D here. He can still 1D here to get through. This is yeah. Intense. It's a bit ugly, Jim, but the one die does give him a stall square two to the right of this knight, but the knight's plus agility, so it's only a three plus. Yeah. But it doesn't have tackle, there. so perhaps the, the blodge piece is a sensible place for the... Oh, okay, we're going around there. Well, that seems worse, but okay. Didn't, at least the, the other ghoul... Oh, oh no, now. the GFI! Oof. Oof. All right, and then it costs him another reroll. He's got one for, for overtime, if he can get there. Big if. Now, it's a four plus, yep. three plus for this ghoul to get out and be in any way relevant again, isn't it? Um, yeah. But if it can get out and come around the front... I think he should have been one square back. Ah, but then he could get blitzed in another hit. Oh, he's made pushed on to another. Well, made the four plus, makes the three plus. He better not try and cut that corner. He cuts oh, the corner. <laughs> Well, if it works, it's it's better. Yeah. There you go. That showed it up quite nicely, hasn't it? That really has. Well, yeah. I mean that. I mean the edge. The That's edge knight can just dodge off and hit the ball one die, but it's a yeah. lodger. Yeah. Can't really one, stop two, that anyway. Three, four. I mean, it doesn't really do anything. Can that knight get around? Yeah, yes, it can. Two, can the knight get around? Yeah, he yeah, can. Yeah, but it probably needs to do a second dodge to do yeah. so. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But we can yeah, a second three dodge and one go for it, and it can nestle in between those two ghouls. Yep. So two one in nines, and then the other knight comes on a, a one in six fail, doesn't it? No, a one in 36 fail. Three one in nine, so we might have to... Nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's at least two dodges, maybe three dodges if he can. Oh, he's got plus movement. Ah, okay. Yeah, his movement is. So if the first but two work, three. it might yeah. be worth trying the third dodge as well to save the re-roll and not need yeah. it on the go for it. Yeah, so maybe three, but at least because two. Because to hit with the uh, the plus agility one, two, no, just it's, at least uh, one, right? it's another go for it. So it's it's by no means easy, but there is a route. But yeah, at least one one dodge, but maybe maybe three between one and three dodges. Yeah, I mean you could do one dodge and two go for it, but that's quite likely to suck your reroll. I quite like well until the dodge pops. I quite like using that inbuilt reroll and trying yeah. the one in nines because if it fails, it's still one one and you go to overtime. That's not the end of the world. Yeah, but if you pop dodge on the first dodge, then you better off yeah, doing then you do the two go for it. Yeah. So it's between one and three. Now the dodges. real question is: is it better? Is it better to make the easier two plus dodge to be the assist, so that you at least have him based if you fail everything else? Yeah, but then that commits you to two dodges at least. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. then to hit you have to do two dodges. Yeah, true. So no, I'd use the guard as the assist and hit with the plus agility. And also, if you hit with the plus agility, you'll have a square of movement left afterwards. So if you do knock it over, there's a chance you might snaffle the ball on a, a blodge side stepper. Which has also got sure hands, so I mean, a, a good chance. The sounds of Mr. Page frantically sambering right now. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, the 4-3, yeah, that's also an option, Chun. I was just thinking about that, the 4-3, and then you've got loads of movement left as well, and then so then you can do the the uh, squirrel suggestion of Edge 4, Blodge Stepper on, you know, in contact, and then you could uh, go for the, just the 4-3, and then you could potentially knock him off with loads of movement. Yeah, I mean, it's a 4-3 with dodge, yeah. so it's a 1-4 in four fail. Yeah, I think the more I think about it, I like having the Blodge Stepper as the assist, because you're not likely to get the ghoul down anyway. So, you at least have something on him. <laughs> okay. Okay, just do that instead. Oh. Yeah, that happened, and now we've got no time. We it, Have I disconnected, or has he just decided not to use his players this turn? He's got eight seconds left on this. Okay. So I am a little bit ahead. I haven't seen anything that's... I mean, I'm at he's zero seconds. Try and mm. Sandwich him here? No, he's not even going to sandwich him. He's going to force a one and nine. Yeah. Yep. And maybe even give him a chain? Nah, no, probably not. Uh, he's no, not enough players. Probably can't get around. <laughs> it doesn't. I don't think Wolf can get around to do it, can he? He's so slow. Oh, the other way, Jim. He can just... Oh, no, that's a sidestepper. Yeah, side yeah you're right. Yeah. yeah. I've crashed, so unless we go to overtime, I'm, I'm watching on yours now, Jim. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've been watching on Jim's the whole time. Yeah, does that happen to you a lot, PC? Does your like replay just randomly just stop? Happens to me all oh, the oh, time. Mine seems to have started again. Okay. I'm weird. <laughs> it's uh, Mr. Page is, like, traveling through four-dimensional space in, in Blood Bowl playoffs. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. so instead of a variety of ways we could have hit the ball, we've chosen not to. Um, but, you know, one in nine chance he wins the game right here, so that's... Yeah. Boy. I'm not, not sure what he's... I'm just going to punch him for the sake of it. He's going to punch him for the sake Yeah, that's, that's fair. That eats the one in nine just quietly. <laughs> if he scores, yeah, we go... Yeah, yeah it sure yeah. did. <laughs> Brilliant <coughs> maneuver there. <laughs> Tactical one in mean, nine <laughs> That was feisty, but you know, if we go, if we as we're going to overtime, it looks like um, you know removing that uh, that blitzer piece would have been huge. Yeah. One back for each of them. Yeah, but really importantly, the whole necro bench gets to join in now. Uh, and there's another roll as well, isn't there? Before uh, which puts the necro up to eleven. Wow. Bretonians are uh, currently restricted to seven. Yeah, so it's maybe eight. But whatever yeah, eight happens, maximum, the Necro... Right and there. the Necro, I mean, you know, they've got two more that might recover from KO. Um, both are pretty trash, but one's a, a guard block zombie, which is nice. Yeah, Jimmy is his best zombie. Not me, though. There's a, there's a Jimmy <laughs> who plays in Rebel who isn't me. <laughs> Not that Jimmy would naturally be me, but you know what I mean. There's, uh, there's, yeah. his other players are named after like coaches, Blood Bowl coaches, so, um, in Rebel. So I'm sure it's he's named after the Rebel coach called Jimmy somebody. <laughs> there's only two Jimmys in my world, Jimmy. There's you, and then there's Jimmy Twelve Bellies. <laughs> I don't know who Jimmy Twelve Bellies is. Uh, he's a friend of mine that was named because Gaza had a friend called Jimmy Five Bellies. Didn't yeah, he? yeah, five, yeah. So we named our friend Jimmy, who's quite large, Jimmy Twelve Bellies, <laughs> uh, which we thought was uh, was funny at the time oh, until he took his own life and cited it in his suicide note. <laughs> um, that that didn't happen. Just a very it's one in the morning <laughs> joke. Dang it, that one actually caught me off guard. I wasn't really paying attention. I was like, oh, this got dark. <laughs> did, yeah. that's, that's aroused the attention of Elton, I think. <laughs> Go, help. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, no rush. No rush, guys. It's only turn 16, and you're not going to do one turn. 
I know he's there's no one turn one here, one. is there? He's movement eight. Uh, and there's a, there's a, there's two stand firms. He's not he's not one turn. <laughs> <laughs> he's just gonna hit people with mighty blow. We know this. Yeah, I mean he he. I'm not sure he does have the pieces to uh, with the two stand firms. I I don't know my one turns quite well enough to know. Well, if a move eight sidestep can do it against two stand firm and a full eleven when there's only seven of you, I know you could do it with eleven and ten and probably nine. I'm not sure about seven. Let's be honest, K. Uh, let's be honest, uh, PC. He's not K Fog, so he can't. <laughs> we know he can't. We know Mr. Page can't. Whether it's possible or not. You know, if KFOG was in this game, you know, maybe, or if he was in the booth, maybe he could, you know, maybe he could figure it out some kind of wild way of doing it. But yeah, there's no sidestep. Uh, the move eight, it, there's a the sidestep is on the edge up. There's no sidestep I, on the move eight. So yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. Um, so he's setting up sensibly for the riot and to hit stuff, which yeah, that's probably right, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know either. Like, I mean, I, I wouldn't even think of trying this one turn. It's not a knock on Mr. Page saying yeah. that. It's just you know, it's. I mean, that's why I, the number one, isn't it? That's why I wanted to bang on the ball last turn because I had a feeling if it goes to overtime, even if the Brets get the ball, I think they're in a bad position. They're in a very bad position. Yeah. I'd have, I'd have maybe lined up that mighty blow to take that hit on the ghoul there though. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's a but blodger. But the ball hit, I felt it had to be the answer that turn. Um, I didn't feel, you know, hoping on the one in nine was... No, it's crap, in it? I mean, if you get two die on the ball and you don't mind throwing the re-roll in because really that's your win state. Oh, there we go. There you go, that's why you don't hit the goo. Yeah. You can bang this guy out instant. Yeah, that's the uh, it's a miss next game. So that's both the ghouls, uh, both the golems out and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just bang people out, Skuro. You're such a noob that you want to hit the goo. <laughs> Just, just cas a flesh golem, easy. Probably tempted in by its AV7 or something, weren't you? And its lack of block. Yeah. Foolish. Congrats, Rick, on your win. Oh, this is the, are these mystics. Skuro. <laughs> Skuro must be AFK if he didn't respond to that. And yeah, yeah I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm eating some food. What's that? What was your question? That's a lie, isn't it, Skuro? You were typing yet more paragraphs about bees. <laughs> we were just saying uh, no. that. Just he just banged out the fleshy instantly, so we just you know. We joking. are no longer friends until you accept there are bees in Middle Earth. <laughs> I mean, there fucking are. <laughs> there can be no argument against it. <laughs> Never has a man been so passionate about bees since Nicolas Cage. <laughs> <laughs> he probably is going to follow the guy. It's Mr. Page. I mean, it, it's not even terrible, right? Because he's nope. absolutely fucked at the moment. Yep. If he if he cases this guy, and if the KOs stay out, and if his KO comes back, then he's got a chance. Yes, yeah. his only chance. So go for all it. of that. All of that and a bowl of grits. <laughs> there you are, one for the one for the Americans in the chat. There, I believe that's a popular expression. Kiss my grits, I've heard. <laughs> I fucking hate grits. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a good point, prodigal GM. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's got you there. <laughs> yeah, he's applying. He's applying the flat Earth society fucking mentality. <laughs> well, just deny all facts and reasonable statements to continue making my point, and I'll have none of it. <laughs> oh well. Even. Mr. Page has won the toss. So you're telling me there's a chance? One Necro, oh the block guard came back, so Necro back up to 11. The KO stayed out for Mr. Page, so it's 7 versus 11, but he's got move 8, 
blodgers. He's got a he's got a nudge four blodger. He's got three blodge players. He's got half a chance, hasn't he? Half a chance. Half a chance. Uh, other than the dead player, uh, sniper Chris, the uh, there's only a. a a peasant that is uh, missed next game. The rest are all badly, badly hurt for Mr. Page. Wow. So while there's a lot of damage done, a lot of it's temporary. There you go. Uh, the Necromantic, unfortunately, less so uh, with the <laughs> dead wolf and the missing fleshy. Yeah. Uh, but the other fleshy, the, the terrible one, is only missed next game. Uh, is only badly hurt. Yeah, yeah, the, the block one is uh, is the miss next. Card is only badly played. So in terms of, you know, what they've got for next game, you'd have to say that, to some degree, the Bretonians are in a better state. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, the Necromantics still have two nice whites. They'll have one fleshy. They've got a good werewolf. Um, and really lots of inducements. And really no fucking chance against Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, with one strength for Wolf and William Cheney, for example, and a, you know, like I said, a niggled bull, and the other one's not that great. If you can get the bulls out early, that might be a chance. Nah, on it, he's, he's got a bit of chance, but he, he, is, he, need, he needs Rick's claw to like, not fire at all. Yeah, and Rick's got lots of claw. Yeah, and he's not. He also probably needs man. Rick's Real brain to not fire very much during the game, too. Mighty blow. <laughs> Although, you know, that could be a hell of a game because if the Necromantic play the same style, they're just going to come smashing into Rick at every opportunity. And Rick's not bashful about uh, about taking some hits himself, is he? He's not, no. And he's playing against Rick Dice. Yeah, that's that's that's. True. Because absolutely, if I was up against Rick, I would be targeting those bulls, particularly the Niggle one, because it's a decent bull, and with the Niggle, it is attackable, particularly with a, you know a wolf with the uh, strength for mighty blow and claw so if I could get that wolf out that bull out I would feel a lot better about it um, and then you're probably going to have enough for Cheney and a wizard considering how much this necromantic team is losing Yeah. and that does give you I mean some sort of hope if you're going to try and find a strategy but Wow, it's a night. That's a lovely kick for him, isn't it? Yeah, anywhere wide was problematic because the whites are set to come and the wolf could have got into your backfield. But this, there's a chance he can keep it safe for a couple of turns. And then he has got the pace and agility to maybe force a hole. Yeah, he could just come straight through the middle, couldn't he? He could. He could come right into his face here. Well, and he could have done it this turn. I mean, when that ball landed, he should have thought, if I take this line of scrimmage out and blitz the third one, I've got four players that could go forwards, and if I get the ball up there, you know, I can score in two, not suffer any more damage. I thought that was his best shot here. Yeah. He's only got one re-roll left. The Necro have three. He's got a lot less players. It's... Oh, God, I'm pretty tired. However, you would have needed some pals on the line of scrimmage, and to be fair, one of them has been a push, so... Yeah, yeah, it's it's well. yeah, yeah I think I think what's more likely to happen here is he's going to cage right... No, he's not! I thought he was going to bring that ball up to midfield and then just get absolutely swarmed by undead. <laughs> so, no, he's staying out of range and then get his, get his blitzers down as scoring threats. Mm -hmm. A bit shit. Okay, I was just going to read out what some of the people in chat have said, but I started by reading Baker's comment, and I've changed my mind. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell. I think you missed the nuance of what Jimmy had said that triggered that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got the come down the middle thing. Um, okay, you did. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to leave. I thought it you were just reading Baker's comment. Cold. No, no, not cold. <laughs> he just randomly decided to type that. Up. <laughs> and indeed, Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, yeah, so two, uh, two, three, kill yeah. count. That zombie uh, only badly hurt. But as I said, the necro. It, it's only two players missing. Bretonians only one, but they've. Uh, sorry, it's two each. 
one death and one miss next game each, but for the Necromantic it's a good wolf and a good flesh golem. And for the Bretonians it's uh, it's the piling on piece that died, so a great piece. But added to that it's only a peasant that's missing. So. And a peasant that was already majorly messed up. Oh god, he had to tag the he had to tag the wolf, didn't he? Didn't he? So he's trying to do both, isn't he? He's trying to drop back and yet also give himself that two turn scoring threat, which yeah, I like it. That's alright. Yeah, I like that. But, but as you said, the, the wolf, wolf can monster one of these, and if it gets a power, the other one will find itself just surrounded, presumably. Yeah. Because with the rerolls and the numbers, there's no urgency to solve this problem. As long as you solve the two in your backfield, you can go get that ball at will. Yeah. And for Page, I do think this is for all the marbles. I think he needs to be looking at a plan to score next turn. He's got one re-roll, he's got a few players. Oh, there's the pal. Dead. Dead. Pal. Dead. 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 I was going to say, I had to mute myself there, but I was going to say, I kind of don't love just sending your blitzers up like that. Like, I know he doesn't really have a better option. But it's just like, it just means one of them's going to get blitzed down and the other one's going to get surrounded by three players. And that's mm. exactly what has happened here. The death obviously makes it even yeah, worse. Yeah, that's, that's been pretty uh, pretty awful for Mr. Page's mood, as you can imagine. But I mean, this is this still isn't that hard, is it? Four plus three plus? No, and it's I think it's got to be tried. This only yeah. gets worse. Yeah, this isn't even bad. Like, it's stupid that this isn't even bad. He should have defended more. Yeah, he run down he, this girl and really. that. Yeah, it's not good. Hundred percent. Does he have? Does Mister Page have an outlet in the middle that he can free up, or does he have to make the long pass there to to do this? Um, he probably has to do the long pass. Yeah. And with it being a, an agility four piece, I think that's probably sensible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good thing uh, he wasn't listening when Elp was on. Uphill wolf. Nah, there's no only that. Nah. Ready for that gunner, two, three. Nah, shouldn't it just dodge, you know, four plus. But then, you know, when her precious little bunny rabbit dies, you'll get your own back. You can just start chanting dead, 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 too. I guess you could, you could uphill the, uh, uphill the white. You've got, yes. I mean, it's mm. either four plus, three plus, or it's two reds. But it would have to be the white, and then it's a three plus anyway. I'd do the four three. Yeah, because if you if you if you if you get the both down, then you've got to still do the four three, haven't you? That's what it all yeah, about the, doing the uphill. And the problem with pushing the white is you're then still on tackle. Whereas, mm. you know, you've got the re-roll for the four, then you've got your inbuilt dodge for the three. Yeah. Um, and if you make the four, it's it's a pretty good situation. That's a one in nine fail, and then you can get to the end zone. It's just the long throw. It's I think that's the way I'd do it. Yeah, just do a random block first. That's actually a GFI into the end zone, though, too. Yes, but only the one. But yeah, I mean, yeah. you're not wrong. Yeah. Yes, that fact is in it doesn't save in the GFI if you do the uphill, especially if you get the PAL. I mean, the problem is, as I said, you know, either with the uphills, you're still on tackle, but. Yeah. Yeah, he's not going for it. No. How, how does he expect to. This could just be like failure state, couldn't it? You know, doing something first. Oh, I think he is doing the dodge. Oh. Yeah, do the dodge, but just do this first, because why not? Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, with yeah, the ghoul base. That's, um, yeah. yeah. If this fails, he's still in a reasonable defensive state, isn't he? So I guess that's those blocks were about protecting on the, the fail here. Hmm. I don't like how easy this is, though. That that's that's poor, isn't it? To make it that easy for him. I think he should be going to the left, not the right, like you're like you're planning, though, because he wants to be throwing the ball away from that uh, werewolf. I was thinking the goo was in the way, but it's not. Is it? You can go either side. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really matter which way he goes. To be fair. 
Oh, he made the four, not the three. Oh, he won in nine. Well, he double won it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Full on snake. But I respect the fact that he went for it. I thought it was the right plan. It would have been so easy there to be a bit more passive and sort of hope things changed, but they weren't going to. Stun is uh, pretty much a game ender. Yeah, pretty much, especially as you can dirty play a foul him as well. <laughs> he is actually, if he wasn't stunned, he is in scoring range. Yeah. But if he wasn't stunned, he'd get dirty play a foul anyway, so. But yep. now he just doesn't yeah. have to do it this time. You know, it's so important, and these midfield pieces so irrelevant, I'd have done the foul before any hits at all, even with my three re-rolls in hand. Yeah. I just want that blitzer off the pitch, and then everything is, everything's cushy. Cushy. Blinding, innit? <laughs> Ain't no Muppet gonna sort me out if I've got that done. <laughs> oh, here we go. I like this, it's well tasty. <laughs> Go I'll do this all night, Jim. Glorious. And he's not hitting the ball, is he? He just needs to keep the wolf free, doesn't he? That's the thing. That's all he has to worry about. Doesn't want the wolf tagged by some shithead. Don't we all? I guess he could. He's got three. Yeah. Yeah. What's what's the harm? After that one, I'd want to keep the other two a little safer, but. So now he gets the foul. I like that. I like doing the foul before they hit. Now that you really want going. Yeah, me too. This here has, you know, pretty bad odds, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright, I think we're going to watch a blitzer try and run up a sideline here and <laughs> pray. You might run in the corner and go for the kick. <laughs> mm. and, you know, faint forward, then run back. Something like that. A bit it's hard when he's no. got so many turns. I mean, the, that's why the wolves come forward, isn't it, Jim? Is there's just nowhere safe from that. Yeah. It's, and if it's you rough. run back, you're safe this turn, but not next. Yeah. However, running back this turn, trying to suck the wolf in towards you, and then punting past it, I suppose. Yeah. But no, he's just coming straight forwards and seeing if he can. Uh, he might see another one of those. Um, Removals? Single, single piece cages again, like we saw in the earlier game. Oh, yes. Yeah, Where you stand someone next to the ball carrier as a sort of friend. <laughs> oh, he's out of range. He's not of out of range of that wolf. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah he is. Minus, he is. minus move. Didn't realize he was minus move. <laughs> So now he needs to get a bit forward with the wolf, doesn't he? Doesn't have to go too yeah, far forward. Not too far. I'd go literally, I think, three, four squares just over the halfway line is about yeah. where I'd want to be. Or right. come all the way whilst hitting a piece on the way. Why not? Hmm. He can still go back a little bit, can't he? No, he can't. He, he, God, he really went all the way there. Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, he can run right by him. You can get tagged as well, you can just tag him, like, I, I hate just letting him, like, you need to have this wolf not tagged by anyone. Like, that is absolutely critical. I made the stun. And now, weirdly, despite our huge advantage, we've managed to find a midfield situation where they've got three on three. <laughs> and where he can quite possibly get his, uh, his plus strength um, piece up and maybe ready to, you know, get vaguely involved. Hell. Now the wolf is this still a turn is I going to take an entire it. three minutes. Yep. Sambering intensifies. <laughs> well, actually, playing it pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, I'll be honest. I've been on his stream, and, and sadly, he's in quite a bleak place where he considers that even if he wins, all hope is lost in the playoffs. So. Yeah, that's I, fair. I'm not enough. sure he's super yeah. focused on winning this. He's just, you know, playing the game out because he's got to play the game out. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it is pretty brutal, it is for him, isn't it? He's, 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 his, you know, his team's been mauled. Yep. And I mean, even if it wasn't, it's still fucking Brett's, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Had to get one more in by the end of the game, huh, Jim? <laughs> yeah. Right, he's got away from the ghoul. 
Now, backwards, sideways, forwards, punting. I don't. You can't punt the whites and the ghoul in the backfield. Are they, you know, they're going to just hoover it up. Yeah, he's going to stand there, and he's just. Yeah, he's got to hope that. Yeah, he's just got to hope that werewolf can't get away. Yeah. Stay out of range. I the think whites. you run three spaces back from the halfway line, which is where the whites can't reach you. Yeah, and you don't have to dodge it again either. No. That's pretty much <laughs> exactly can, the square I would have thought. Yeah, that's, that's really good. That's a nice square to pick. Yeah, I mean, no, comparatively nice. Obviously, it's awful, but it's it's the least awful, I think, that was available to him. Now, the real question is, is he going to get another foul in on that one scoring threat? He's got to, basically. Yeah, but Tammy, like, does the ghoul do it? Uh, well, he's got a... Oh, no, that's a strength four. Mm. Crystal Hunter, I, I feel exactly the same. If people samber against me, I never mind. It means they're only looking at optimistic upsides. They're not considering fail states in how they plan their turns. Didn't even matter here. I think at this point you try and scatter that ball out of bounds. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Um, but with a Getting backward step him. so that you're off the uh, the assist at the same time. Disagrees. And, uh... uh oh! oh! Another armor break there, by the way. There's just no one to go for that ball. Well, basically no one to go for that <laughs> ball. No, really, there isn't. I mean, two go for it and two dodges, and the ghoul can base the ball as well. Yeah. Um, but I'm, yeah, again, why do I think I think you really needed to try and put that ball out of bounds and just pray for a better scatter. I I agree with you. Um, yeah. But we do have a you know an, another agility three piece back there that could try a four plus pickup and then try and do something with it, which is why this zombie's also trying to get involved. Yeah, that's a really nice space. Doesn't need to go anywhere yep. yeah. from there. Yeah, Absolutely. That one go for it really locks the whole situation up. You can get in the end zone. Now the blitzer can move it and try and pick the ball up, but then it can't do anything with it. You can get into the end zone. So, here's the play, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to hear this one. Four plus dodge, four plus pick up. Um, five plus pass to this uh, peasant, <laughs> six plus catch, <laughs> four plus three plus through tackle, double GFI, then peasant four plus dodges away, uh, two plus GFI, four plus pass, three plus catch, GG, the end. How about how about this one though, Jim? A four plus from the, uh, the kick dirty well, player, yeah. four plus into a red D to get the wolf off the ball. Yeah. I did play a 4 plus, followed by a attack on the zombie to just move it. Then this piece that's already moved picks it up and throws it into the area where the strength 4 is stood up in the middle of the field. Strength 4 probably won't catch it, but it'll land in its tackle zone and it's stand firm and strength 4, so we might be able to defend the ball there. Yeah, yeah I don't know, I like my 2 plus. All of these play. plans are shit, aren't they? Let's face it. <laughs> None of them are good. <laughs> yes, the game is in fact over. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think a better, a more realistic plan for Mr. Page at this point is to ba bank on Super Base failing four pickups in a row. He's only got one reroll, so yeah. it's a one in nine followed by three one in threes. Yeah, he's it almost to wasted two rerolls in overtime. That's the on GFIs. Yeah. Really well, like I said, I didn't hate the me. first one. I'm not sure I loved the second. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's cyanide, I revel. That's a pretty good plan. I think the best, the best play for us, sadly for us, for Mr. Page, is to just literally use all of his time every single turn, let the time run down, and hope that our uh, super base disconnects. <laughs> <laughs> He used 15 seconds on every block, every push direction, every decision whether to follow. <laughs> I mean, I mean again, I thought Mr. Page did 
reasonably well there. He got, you know, plenty of noise mm -hmm. around this ball, which means that Superbase isn't going for the pickup. Or he's going for the pickup on the goal. He is, but with the goal, isn't he? Yeah. Um, but he probably like shouldn't re-roll it. Yeah. What if this oh. scatters right through the edge for... No, never mind. Oh, never oh. mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If it had scattered right, so over the plus, downed uh, edge night and yeah. over the other side of it, it could have picked up and run away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so now we're looking at a 3-plus red D blitz with the wrestler. Pray for a good scatter. Ball gone. Pass to the end zone. Easy. Um, if you stand up the peasant, you can one die push this ghoul. That gives you one assist. Um, and then there's a peasant one, two, three that can one go yeah. for it. Just rely on Dauntless, isn't it? Just rely on Dauntless. Blitz and then the, blitz, the, yeah, and the agility dodges out, and you've got one die. Yeah. That's the best I can do. Yeah, that's quite reasonable. It's a, yeah. It's one die needing a push, so it's a three plus, and then a two plus to give you one die. Needing yeah. a six. Or but maybe two dice, if you're lucky. That's fine, I isn't it? Don't see how it's, it's a strength four bull. Dauntless. A strength four wolf. Dauntless. Oh, Dauntless. Yeah, no, you're right. Could be two die. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So three plus for the push, two plus for the dodge, and then it's two plus for it to be a two die. Mm. That's not so bad from the situation. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, stand your uh, stand your peasant in the backfield up first. He stood the strength four up. Yeah, I mean, you kind of need to make it be a power and a break. But if it's a break, then then your bludge is pretty safe, isn't he? Well, even just a power. I mean, you are a plus agility shorthands piece. You should at least be able to get the ball back on him almost mm. anywhere, unless it's in you know both the ghoul and zombies tackle zones. I mean, the problem and then it's is him to take it away from you again. I mean, yeah, he will, the problem but... is he will. Yeah, <laughs> he's got. You still would so making him roll dice, Jim, is still a thing. That's true. That's true. Especially with so few turns left. Yep. Only a plus one if it goes to kicks. Yeah. Somehow. That's the business. Definitely the play. Now let's see if uh, Mr. Page comes up with it. Unless anyone comes up with better, in which case it's not the play. But I, I think that's all right. Yep. I think that's what he's going for. There's the push. He gets it. EAB shouts in my channel, Sniper Chris, because uh, <laughs> because Bessel thinks it's funny. <laughs> he gets the power! Oh my god! He got him! He got him! It's a game going down to the wire. Well, he folks. came up with the right play on Here's the right break. turn. Now, let's see if it does him any good. I don't like the push direction, though, because, nope. yep, it can scatter into there like yep. it did. Wrong place. Oh, oh. Wrong, wrong time. <laughs> Boom. And, yep, if he'd pushed in the right square, it was only two squares to pick it up as well. He could have picked it up. Oh, and then, as I said, you know, if, if he stays still, then the wolf is needs an assist to get two die and... Oh, that could have been that could have been glorious. He really did have a genuine shot there, and he worked it quite well. Just the push direction was not good, was it, Jim? Another break on this poor scoring threat. <laughs> yeah, he's been a. Which beat. means he's turned sixteen or, or turned twenty-four or bust for that guy. Nope, he's guns. That's what I deeply love about you, Skuro, is that inherently you're a you're an optimist, aren't you? Calling that thing a scoring threat. <laughs> <laughs> And, and do you know what? I kind of hated not doing this block first. But I guess it's blockless and he can just go for the ghoul pickup afterwards. Yeah, I guess it's alright. Yeah. I guess it's alright, actually. Or maybe it's not even alright, I guess it's optimal. There you go. Oh, oh no, don't re roll it, though, you dickhead. I mean, I think that's that probably wasn't a good idea. Re -roll, but... I think that probably wasn't a good idea to re roll. <laughs> well, if the ghoul picks up, it was. And if the ghoul fails, it definitely wasn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. It's still on. Not so great. <laughs> now, do you dodge the strength four piece out before you try and pick it up and throw it to him? Or do you just, as I said before, just punt it into that area and hope somehow he either catches it or it lands Blitz. in his tackle zone? Blitz with a strength four, isn't it? Blitz with a strength four. Oh, yeah. Blitz the strength four out and come and base the ball and then try and pick it up and just aim for kicks. 
Yeah. Because kicks right now is zero zero. It's a fifty fifty shot if this goes to kicks. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, no, that's the better play, Jim. Um I'm maybe. still looking for this ludicrous win, which isn't gonna happen. So <laughs> no, no, maybe. I still think I still think Mr. Prage is gonna prove uh PC wrong and he's gonna score on my score threat there. The stun <laughs> <guy>. score threat. <laughs> on turn twenty four. <laughs> When he yeah. unstuns. Oh, wait. Actually, I think he's out of range. No, he is now out of range, isn't he? Yeah, yes, he is. Be, yeah. yeah, He's pushed him two squares out of range. So the only scoring threat is the peasant or the strength four. Oh, yeah, that peasant's got a touchdown in him. Yeah, I think <laughs> you bring the strength four back on a blitz to base the ball, yeah. and then you probably try and pick it up with the agility piece, and then if all of that works somehow, then the peasant tries a dodge to be your scoring threat. <laughs> The problem is that I think you maybe just stand up the blitzer because then the you know yeah. all of that. Um, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, well, he has. Um, so he thought so too because of the sidestep and things. So, yeah, don't hate yeah, it. Wolf's but... only had three, isn't he? He's not got a one in nine to do anything now. Yep. Come on, we're running back to base this ball and this ghoul, aren't we? Yeah. No, we're just basing the ball. I, at strength four, stand firm, I'd have been on that ghoul. Yes, I like Yeah, me too. Uh, make him hit me. That's a one in nine um, that yeah. ends it. There's a good chance of pushes as well. I mean, it's only 55% to get the power with two die. It would take everything he's got there other than the wolf to get that hit. I just think that's better. It's a better shot. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, boy, I'm tired. <laughs> 2 a.m. Now, I would... What would you do here, Jimmy? I would be looking at just the 4 plus 3 plus to win, but I have a feeling he wants to uh, knock that blitzer off and make it a 3 plus. Yeah. It is just a 4 plus 3 plus a dodge, isn't it? Yeah. It is, mm. yeah. It's a 4 plus 1 in 9. So if you make that 50% pick up, you're 1 in 9 from the win. I think it's probably better to go to the wolf. No, nope. wolf dodges and takes the blitzer out, and then it's just a 3 plus to win. That's probably better, isn't it? Because it's a 1 in 9 to dodge the wolf because there was no tackle on the blitzer. Yeah. But you can eye cage the ball, so almost any scatter should be in tackle zones and be fine for next turn. Except one that bounces on the blitzer, but it's still probably all right. It just I don't think it's we're getting right. we're it's getting kicks, kicks, aren't we? It's kicks. Super base is fucking spoon. Uh, I think it? we might be. All the equity it's uh, spent, and yet we're going to kicks. He's just fucking spooned his three rerolls away, hasn't he? He's piss pissed yeah. me away on irrelevant things. And yeah, he could have been an dominant three zero for the kicks, or he could have just used them on good things. <laughs> and <have> well, <laughs> I'm going to change my mind about that first one that he put well. on the assist. I thought because he was in a dominant position, it was fine to use up the first one and keep two dry. But I didn't realise quite how badly he was going to play after that, and that he would need more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Paige is too far away now. I mean, and to hit a ghoul that was, you know, even then was going to be a. a 33% to knock over and, and wasn't fairly relevant anyway. Oh, why do you do that when you've got dog? Because that's... And why are you hitting that completely irrelevant piece anyway? What, what use was that? I was just couldn't try and clear his path, I think, you know? But no, I mean, I see the downside. I don't see an upside. Oh. No, not really, is there? <laughs> I mean, perhaps, but I mean, it, it, look, it, we're being harsh at times, maybe, but these guys have played some cracking blood bowl. It's been a long old game. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, by cracking, I mean cracking each other's teams apart, not <laughs> good play. A um, lot of very intense turns, a lot of thought. It, uh, no great surprise they've stopped thinking much. <laughs> you do, Jim. Don't, I'm not kidding. Sometimes you just, yeah. you know, it gets so tiring and you just, you end up. No matter how important it is, you, you find you're on autopilot. You're just doing the simple things because it's just got too complex and it's messing with your head. Yeah. So you can just block here. No, oh, doesn't get the knockdown. I mean, I mean, I say you find that. I don't. That's... <laughs> <laughs> so now he's got no oh. choice but the one in nine dodge, one in three pick up, one in three handoff, and then score. 
Jesus. Yeah. I, yeah. There had to be better options, didn't there? Mm, the, the option was to play better for the previous five turns and uh, already <laughs> won. Go back in time I, I is would no tend longer to agree. an option. <laughs> I mean, that said, like I said, I, you know... It, it is our job to be critical as commentators, and lots of people aren't, and I don't love it when they just go, oh, look, they've made a block. Um, but, again, I, I, I want to repeat that. This is the end of a long, hard, stressful game. Yeah. Um, they've both had a lot of injuries. But Kaz is left, right, and center, and you know that really affects your mood, your emotions as you go. You know, all those deaths, all of those injuries, each one taking its toll on how you feel, on what your brain's doing. Yeah. Mr. Page has the dramatic music going. I appreciate that. Oh, he takes the first one. No. Makes, no, doesn't make the second one. No. Hicks it is. Now, look, we are at least saved the three rerolls on each side, which we pointlessly have to sit through the animation of them <laughs> going over as touchdowns. So this could end just with one. We might just see one successful kick. Yeah. That oh, yeah, I don't think that's uh, controversial at all, Volk. I think uh, Superbase spooned it in overtime. Yeah, I think Superbase, is, it was there for him to lose, despite not having the ball. He did the some wolf. things right, and some things really not right. Yeah. And I thought Mr. Page played really well in overtime, actually, given limited resources. I, yeah. I thought most turns he did exactly more or less good stuff. And he's lost. <laughs> 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 well, there was that. <laughs> well, that's saved us watching four more of those animations. Which, you know. <laughs> oh, Mr. Page's response to that was pretty priceless. He just went, huh? I, I failed one? I just rolled a zero. <laughs> they always do it minus one so that, you know, it's yeah. not obvious. <laughs> that was great. Uh... That was so anticlimactic. After all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thanks. God, what a game. Yeah, Rick was the real winner, wasn't he? Yeah, incredible for Rick. Oh, my God. Indeed. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Congrats, Rick. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I mean, it's 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 not obviously it's not an auto win for him, you know. It's blood ball and uh, anything can happen, but uh, that that the the movement eight, uh, wolf getting killed, and he's got uh, a not so good flesh goal and miss next. So like, yeah, but yeah, as as PC says, you know, it means he can get Cheney and Wizard properly, and with two, do you know che two two strength four wolves and a wizard, things can happen, can't they? He's probably going to have to dice Rick pretty hard, but he can do it. And he can play well enough to win as well. I mean, like... <gasps> oh, fucking, I've got hiccups here halfway through. Um, But yeah, yeah, that happened, didn't it? <laughs> it, it definitely did. Like, share, and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Wait, did I do it right? <laughs> uh, nearly. I'm just trying to recover from these hiccups that I've got for no apparent reason. <laughs> right. Thank you very much. Skurametsu, thank you very much, Purple Chest. Um, thanks, help for popping in, and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>